Rev. Kenneth Thornton began his ministry as our next pastor on March 30th, 1986. Rev. Thornton and his wife, Rebecca, moved it to the parsonage and later held an open house for everyone to visit. In 1986, we held two backyard Bible schools for the local migrant children with a total of 45 in attendance. The WMU prepared 368 health kits for the migrant workers and our brotherhood held worship services. A new ministry started in 1986 called the Homebound Ministry. This consisted of Sunday school lessons and worship service recordings that were taken to shut-ins. The very first Hanging of the Greens ceremony was held on December 14, 1986. The church was decorated during the service as we were informed of the meaning of the symbols of the season. On Christmas Eve, a candlelight Lord's Supper was observed for individual families. Rodney Hughes began his ministry as music and youth director for our church on December 28, 1987. Under Rodney's direction, Princeton Baptist Church excelled. Rodney began several new choirs for all age groups. With the addition of these choirs to the Sanctuary Choir and Men's Choir, our church had 114 people involved in the music ministry. Every choir at some point presented a musical program. Our children and youth programs were active as well. The youth were involved in retreats, camps, mission projects, and prayer services. The children enjoyed camp experiences away from the church as well as a local camp held by Rodney and Joan at our church entitled Gerbert's Camp Good Day. Children were taught values like honesty, obedience, respect, and faith through everyday circumstances. The youth choir, Spirit Wings, presented an outdoor concert entitled Sold Out and Surrendered on June 25, 1988. Our youth presented this same concert at Wrightsville Beach as part of Mission Action 1988. For the Fall Festival on October 31, 1988, an evening aboard Noah's Ark was our theme. This allowed children to dress as animals that were found on Noah's Ark. Games, puppets, and treats were also part of the evening. A groundbreaking service was held on May 7, 1989 for a new ground floor fellowship hall and a build 89 banquet was held on May 31, 1989. While our church continued many of its programs throughout the year, the main event of 1989 was the celebration of our 100th anniversary. Our theme was a century to celebrate, a future to fulfill. We began in August with skits and puppet presentations, which gave bits of church history through the years. There were guest speakers each Sunday who were former members, and on Friday evening, September 22, 1989, the church had a birthday celebration complete with a church-shaped cake which had 100 candles. Janet Berman, church member who was 100 years old, attended the celebration. 1991 brought sadness as we said goodbye to Rodney Hughes and his family. On August 18, 1991, a covered dish dinner was held honoring the Hughes. The GA's Christmas card post office was opened on December 1, 1991, which allowed church members to mail their Christmas cards to members while giving the postage monies to the Lottie Moon Mission offering. After having missed our pastor for a while, Preacher Thornton returned to the pulpit on January 12, 1992. After an unfortunate episode with the shaking of a pecan tree, Preacher T is active to stay the least. 1992 continued with Baptist Men's Day, Spring and Fall Revivals, RA Basketball, Vacation Bible School, and a softball team that came in second for the season. PBC hosted a Thanksgiving service on Wednesday, November 25th, 1992 with the Methodist Church and on December 13th, 1992, the choir presented Emmanuel, God with us. As we continue forward, the strength of the church is in its people. It is not in properties or wealth, but in its membership to evangelize, 
educate and receive as commanded by the Great Commission.